Welcome to week 30 of my palette collection bingo series. I put all of my palettes in a spreadsheet and once a week I use a random number generator and it tells me which palette I'm going to do for you. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. The random number, Mr. Random Number Generator, uh, he chose the Champagne Kisses 2 palette. It's reflective. Uh, from B. Bella, B. Bella Cosmetics. I am a fan of B. Bella. They are a very affordable brand. Such pretty, pretty palette. Does have a mirror. These are the shades. You have some warm, some cool, some wine, some mobs, some, not really mobs, roses, uh, tans, orange there. You know, there's a lot of different neutral shades, neutral-ish shades in here, reds, you know. Um, I like this palette a lot. I haven't used it in a while, but um, I'm really happy that uh, that it got chosen today. I received this palette in a giveaway from Ronnie at Living Obsessed. I will have Ronnie's channel linked in the description box below, and um, I, I suggest you go follow her or go check her out or whatever. Uh, she does a ton of unboxings. She does jewelry unboxings. She does coffee tea unboxings. She does makeup unboxings. Not as much makeup, uh, but she does skincare unboxings. Um, home items. She has one that, uh, she has bougie boxes. I call them bougie boxes. They're very, they, everything looks very high end and beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to link her in the description box below and, uh, go check her out. But I won this, this giveaway, like, a really long time ago, probably close to like a year. I am going to set my eyelid primer, which is the uh, Ace Beauté eyelid primer. I'm going to set it with this shade right here called Non Vintage. And I'm going to try really hard as I show you the shades to not blind you. Oh, look at that creasing, y'all. What is going on? I've had it on for a while. Uh, I usually put it on right before, um, right before I turn on my camera or even sometimes I forget and I will do my intro and then I will cut away and uh, do it, cut it out, cut that out because I forget. Oh, you know what else I forgot to do? Put my hair back. Um, I'm just using one of these cheapy, cheapy little things from back in the day because my little black ones that I was using, they get, they've been getting caught in my hair. So I don't know if they've come unglued or whatever from the like paddle on it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I haven't been using, I think I used one last week, but, um, I have to be really careful when I take them out because they get stuck. And then I'm like unraveling my hair. I did color my hair, guys. I actually colored it tonight. Um, it was getting very, very, very gray, silver, sparkles. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I got that done. You know what else I realized is I think I might be out of mascara. Oh, I'm, like, I'm not out of mascara. But, like, my backups are in my stash. And I might have to go find one later. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Enough jibber-jabber. Let's, uh, go ahead and get started. Want to? No? Oh, another thing before I start. I might have to send my new makeup mirror back. This is, like, the sixth or seventh one. I love this one. I love it. Except for... When it's on the natural light setting, it's like strobing. And I didn't even realize it was doing that and I was getting a headache. And I was like, why am I getting a headache? Yeah, it was bad. So I have it on the daylight setting, which is a little cooler. But then I have my ring light on warmer. So I'm hoping that that equals it out. You guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, guys, I'm going to go into this rose shade right here. And I'm going to put that in my transition area. So I hope everyone had an amazing week. Um, tell me something good. Tell me something that happened to you this week. I don't think I told you to do that last week. Um, 
last week was kind of a lot. It, it was, it was like two videos in one. It was my palette collection bingo. Uh, but it was also, uh, a challenge from Miss Leanna Dalton. If you didn't see that, it's with the culture palette. And Leanna challenged me to do a green and yellow look, which you guys know me. I don't do that. I don't do that, but I did it. I did it. And, um, and I was really happy sticking that in my, in my socket because my wrinkly ass eyelids and, um, you know, it looks, it looks like it skips sometimes. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that because it makes my wrinkles a little bit more, more pronounced. This is a colored rain brush. I love it. Uh, I don't know what kind of look I'm doing today, guys. There's a lot of choices here. I mean, yeah, they're all kind of neutral, but there's a lot of choices. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to go the rose to brown or rose to wine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this Corbel, Corbel shade right here. Um, it looks like each one of these has a matte in it and all the others are shimmers. There's some beautiful shimmers in here, but I'm very, um, you know, there's not a lot of mattes. So we're just going to go with it. I've used this palette a few times. I really like it. I like the color story. It is more of a fall palette. It's been a long time since I've used it. I'm just going to put this up into the crease, outer corner. Because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. But this, that, that shade is speaking to me. Um... Yeah, I hope everyone had a good week. Tell me something um, something great that happened to you this week. Something that made your heart happy. Um, let's see, what happened to me this week? Well, you guys have already seen that video. Um, my daughter's uh, 21st birthday, I'm going to say 18th. 21st birthday was Wednesday. And last Saturday we did go shopping and found her a couple of really cute outfits and, you know, just some other stuff that she needed. So that was kind of her birthday gift. And then uh, you guys are seeing this on Friday. So tonight, I'm actually filming it on Thursday night, but tonight um, we will be at the karaoke. And my mom is going. My mom took the day off, took, took Friday and Saturday off. Um... And she's going. And I think that's so much fun. My mom used to come up and go to, well, and even when I lived um, in the same town as her, every once in a while she would go to karaoke with me. And it was always fun. Always a lot of fun. Um, my mom can sing really nicely, uh, but she doesn't like to. But one of the things that we do together is we do The Sounds of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. And she does the harmonies because she's amazing at harmonies. And I'm not amazing at harmonies. So we're going to do that. And uh, as of my last video, when I was talking about was the, it was uh, the Leanne and Andy show that you guys saw. Um, Dina, my bestie, wasn't going to come because she was going to be out of town. Oh! <gasps> And she's coming. She is not going to be out of town. They changed their plans. I'm super excited that she gets to go. So that's going to be so much fun. Because, you know, Dina's like her aunt. And they're very close. And, um, where's my color switch? Uh, they're very close. So I'm really happy. When I told Dina that it was that weekend, she was so upset because she said that of all the weekends. Uh, I'm going to go into this shade right here. I think it's called Brut. I don't know how. It's it's French, okay? It's French. But I think it's Brut. I think it actually, you do pronounce the T. If I'm wrong, let me know. 
So we're going to do that. So that's, um, that's exciting. And I'm really, really excited, really happy about that. I'm going to put that in my outer corner and I'm going to darken that up and maybe even a little bit up in my crease. Ooh, if I get any fallout, it's going to be this shade right here. Yep. I already have a little bit of fallout. Dang it. I already did my face makeup. That's okay. Um, B Bella does not have a ton of fallout. I did just dig my brush in there. So that's one thing. So we're carrying it karaoke and I love, uh, Bailey has gone with us one other time. She wasn't of age to get into a bar per se, but the bar, it was during, it was when they started opening bars and stuff back up during the C thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so they had karaoke from like 6 PM to 10, which was so funny. But I really liked it because I was home, I was home in bed by like 11. So it was awesome. Um, but she went with us because they serve food there. So, you know, younger people could go in if they wanted. So there was actually kind of like a family, it was like a family karaoke thing. So that was cool. So, uh, Dina and Bailey have a song that they like to sing. It's a country song. And... So that's fun. I love that. I love that we're doing that. And I love that all those, and then she has a couple friends that are coming, uh, because they do serve food. Um, you can, and, and her friends are 20, so they can be in as long as they're over 18, they can be in after, I think it's after eight or after nine, but we're going to get there really around eight. Hope we can get a table for as many people. Um, I was going to be the DD, uh, but my mom's going now. My mom doesn't drink, so hmm. I might have a couple of adult beverages, just a couple, just a couple. You guys, I'm just kind of playing. I'm just playing on my makeup, um, but I do like how that's looking. I do. And I think, I think I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to go underneath a little bit this little baby brush. I like this brush a lot. This is a colored rain brush. I've been on the, I've been on the colored rain brushes lately. Now, uh, I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush. You know what? I'm going to find a clean brush. I'm so, I'm so lazy guys. I'm so lazy. Um, I don't know what this brush is, but it might be a shop passe, but it's just a, like a blending brush. Yeah, I do have a little bit of fallout. Just a little bit, not too bad at all. Um, and I'm going to go into, man, there really isn't a light matte shade other than that non-vintage. <coughs> Pardon. It's just water. Don't get crazy. It's just water. Uh, I think I am going to blend this out. Just so I'm going to take that rose shade very lightly and kind of blend this out a little bit. Just a little. And then it's shimmer time, you guys. Shimmer time. There's a lot of pretty shimmers in this. Okay. All right, then. Let's see. I'm going to take this flat brush. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do pinks. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm not. Um, I'm going to go into this royalty, this royalty right here. It is a shimmer. It's a darker shimmer. So it looks like it. We're going to see what that does. I've not used that shade before and I am going to spray them because if I remember right, I need to spray these puppies. One of my favorite looks in the fall is like a wine. with a rose gold, either a wine or a brown with a rose gold shimmer on the lid. That's like my jam in the fall. And I have to be really careful to not do every look that way because that's always what I want to do. Um, after this, 
Hmm, I don't know if I like that or not. It's awfully, that's a weird brown. It's a weird brown shade. Hmm. Um, after this, I'm going to be filming my Busy Beauty Box. I am. Um, for August. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to go into this sec right here. It is a shimmer as well. Maybe go. Is that a shimmer? I think it is. It might be a satin. We'll find out, won't we? Oh yeah, that's better. I like that. I like that on top of that brown. Brown was just a little too, a little, it was a little too warm for me, for my liking for this look. Now, I'm going to go into one of these other really pretty shimmers. Um, I'm going to go into this sparkling, this sparkling shade right here. I'm going to put that on the front of my lid. And I am going to spray it. And I'm kind of loading it up. Because these are, like, I think they're kind of pigmented, but it is a, a less expensive brand. But I still think that their formula is really good. This palette is still on their website. And it is, oh, I love that. Um, it is $12. Oh, that's yeah, I'm glad I did that. That's really, that's a beautiful shimmer. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to go back into that sec. And I'm going to put that kind of, I'm not going to spray it. I just want to blend these two together. Crepey ass eyelids. Oh my gosh. I feel like they're getting worse. And I... You know what? I use all kinds of shit on my eyelids, face, under eyes, all that nonsense. I do. I use a lot of it. I feel like I want something on my brow bone because it's kind of light, right? Mm. 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 All right, I'm going to take this little brush and I don't know what it is, but I like it. Um, and I'm going to go into that sparkling without spraying it. I'm just going to put that up here. It's, it's awfully light. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I should bring... See, here I go messing with crap. Maybe I should bring this up a little, a little bit more. Yeah, I kind of like that. Sometimes I, I mess too much and then it, I'm like, man, why did it stop? Because that's what we do. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Not very much. Um, I do want to put something under my eye. What do I want to put under my eye, guys? I'm going to take this little guy. I don't know what he is. I am going to go into that. I'm going to go into that Crystal, right here. It's a shimmer. And I'm going to put that underneath my eye. Kind of blend it over. You guys, I just panicked. I didn't think I was filming. Because <laughs> I had... I had started filming and then I had turned turned it off to go turn off my air conditioner. Because it's wah in the background. You guys, in September, we are getting a whole new HVAC system. And I'm not gonna need that anymore. At least I hope. We're getting a new roof and a new HVAC system. Okay, you guys, I am really happy with that, and I am going to go off camera and do liner, lashes, lips, eyebrows, and we'll come back, and we'll discuss, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Finished look. I am very happy with this. I love that palette.
and I thought it performed really nice. I just had a little bit of fallout, but you know what? I have fallout with uh, like bigger, better, faster palettes. So um, I think that the shimmer <sighs> hair. I think that the shimmers performed very nicely. I did spray them, but I used a flat brush. Maybe if you used a finger, um, maybe my mirror keeps turning off. Uh, maybe if you use a finger that it might, you may not have to spray anything. It might be able to, you know, go on really nicely, but I just have a hard time doing that. So, um, yeah. I did end up putting something on my inner corner. I used the ColourPop Mountain Lion uh, Super Shock. It's my favorite because it's stunning. Don't look at that. That's lipstick. It's stunning. Sometimes I think I get it darker by doing that. Anyway, it's pretty. It's pretty. So I did end up putting that on my inner corner. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you the palette again. I'm going to show it upside down. Um, it, it's pretty. It's pretty. $12 palette. Still on the website. I will put a link in the description box below. It is not an affiliate link. I don't get anything from that. But uh, it's a pretty palette, and I do recommend it. So, yeah. Um, I did use the... Where does it go? Where'd it go? Araceli. Araceli. Um, Ojos Perfectos gel pencil liner it is in black uh i really love the araceli araceli liners araceli araceli uh liners um i used the tray stick uh first two coats and then i used the anastasia beverly hills um mascara and i'm not really sure what kind it is let's see uh anastasia beverly hills Lash Brag Volumizing. Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Now, um, I did just open this. I got it in my Busy Beauty Box, but I got it in my Busy Beauty Box months ago. Months ago. And it's been in my stash, so it was a little dried out. You know what? If your mascara is not dried out, or I'm sorry, is your if your mascara is dried out, but it is not expired yet, just put a couple of drops of contact solution in there. Yeah. And it was a brand new bottle of contact solution and a brand new mascara. Now on my lips, something different guys. I used this Huda Beauty. I don't even know why I put those down. Huda, Huda Beauty Lip Contour. It's in the shade Muse. I have used this before, I guess, but it's, I usually use um, my color sensational and it is so pretty. It is a very pretty liner and my lipstick is from Colored Rain and I can't remember what it's called. It is called Classy. It's Classy. And this is what that looks like and I will do a little swatchy swatch. It is a matte. It is a matte lipstick. I thought those, that liner and lipstick went together really well. So that's it guys. Um, oh, you know what? I did use a little bit. I didn't go overboard, but I did use a little bit of highlighter today. I used my Ace Pute Glow Essentials. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's so reflective. I use this one in the middle. This one's very pink. This one's kind of like a peachy, a peachy pink. I use that. Um, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit. I probably could have used the, I didn't know how pink I was going. I put that on before I did my eyeshadow. Thanks you guys so much for joining me for week 30 of my palette collection bingo series. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.